once you achieve it, then the dopamine stops. So you could think about a running a marathon, that when you cross the finish line, you have a huge spurt, but training for the marathon was a lot of dopamine that motivated you to keep training. But after the, the marathon's over, your dopamine falls, which is why people then need a new marathon or a new other goal. Mm, okay. I, I thought okay. that the way the dopamine worked was um, when it's because it's goal seeking, mm. then as you're going after the goal, you, you have this burst of dopamine. But I also thought that when you achieved it, there was another hit of dopamine then. But it's yes, only it, in seeking of it. Yes, like I said, when you cross the finish line of the marathon. So release, when you get it, release. or like, let's say you're trying to become a doctor and you go to school for years and you study for exams. And, and then when you finally become a doctor, that you have a burst of dopamine, but then that dopamine stops. Um, what you might have is the serotonin pride of waking up every morning knowing that I am a doctor. I am a person who finished a marathon. I am a person who met my goal, whatever it was. Okay, so that's nice serotonin, but the dopamine stops. And the reason for that is that in nature, if you saw food in the distance, you walk toward it. But once you ate all the food in that area, you had to find more food. So that's why once you get what you see, the dopamine stops because that's what motivates you to find something else. To learn more about your happy chemicals and help others find this valuable information, click the thumbs up and subscribe to the Inner Mammal Institute channel. To get a free five-day happy chemical jumpstart guide, opt in at the Inner Mammal Institute website innermammalinstitute.org. Thanks.